This is day two of the Texas Reef Challenge. Yesterday we were sent this algae from a friend of ours who has a bad algae problem and we're testing the different janitors here at Garf to see which ones will eat it. The algae is so interesting that I called and ordered some more. If you have any types of reef algae that you would like us to study, we would be very anxious to receive a box of algae. This lettuce nudibranch from Haiti really seems to like that green algae. I'm sure that they'll clean it up too. The hermits have been doing a great job this morning. I'm going to send for some more of this algae rock if I can get him to send us some. It's a perfect algae that people have a problem with and I need to train our magic mollies to eat this from the time they're born. They all grow some tanks. It's hard to believe that I'd be treating some tanks with uh, Alaskan fish emulsion fertilizer to grow more algae. Both of these red leg hermits are now eating this algae. These hermits are gregarious. They don't fight over food. They just pile on. Other hermits protect their food, but these are very, very friendly to each other. In the wild, you'll sometimes find thousands of them in a pile. This red leg hermit from Mexico is eating that small diameter green hair algae. These emerald crabs are fighting over this rock. One smaller one is chasing off the others. Quite a bit of the algae from last night is gone. And I'm going to save a little piece so I can grow some because it's going to get eaten up in here. Pink tegula seem to like it the best. I'll add a turbo or two and see what happens with that mix. This is a new algae that just came in a few minutes ago from Texas and I've put it into a tank to do some research on the type of algae it is and also on the best janitors for cleaning it up. I'm pretty sure that the hairy emerald crabs from Haiti will be very glad to see this. Mm -hmm.